thanks for joining me guys uh we're gonna use the secret message cards for this read along with the gilded tarot because i feel like there's something uh that somebody's never told you something that someone is keeping a secret it's like secret thoughts secret feelings uh for whatever reason uh they just can't bring themselves to tell you or never could bring themselves to tell you because this might be somebody who is no longer in your life too guys so i want to know what these messages are i want to know what's going on I want to know what the collective is not hearing. So, I'm sorry that I've lied to you. I felt trapped with no way out. It was all just too intense. I wonder what this is all about. We're going to pull a few more here. Because I want to find out where this fits. And I feel like that one needed to come out too. It would destroy me to see you with someone else. But I also know that you're not going to wait around forever. I feel so conflicted. I have never felt so deep. I never felt so deep in love before. I want you so badly and I don't know what to do with this feeling. I'm not used to this passion. It's just too much. Hmm. It's like this person can't handle their emotions. This person doesn't know how to have how to have an emotionally committed relationship. So maybe they act out and do stupid shit and they lie to sort of bring it to an end because then if it's ended, well, then they don't have to open themselves up, right? That's the vibe that I'm kind of getting from these cards. Like this is a defense mechanism because this person actually just, they can't seem to have a relationship. And I feel like we need to pull one more. It's just one more tarot, one more of these cards. Oh, we got a whole big group. That came forward and that one just fell out on its own. So I want to be honest and tell you what is really going on in my life right now. This person, they would like to reach out. This person uh, would like to have that bond. They would like to build that bond. I don't know. They're just afraid. They're afraid. They self-sabotage. What is going on with this person for the collective? Let's find the truth out for the collective here. So the death card is like transition, closing the door on one chapter and beginning a new one. So whatever this is, it's probably come to an end, this relationship with this person. And it was of their own doing, is what the hanging man says. Uh, the hanging man is like the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success in life is you. It's this person, it's this person, their insecurities, uh, their fears. It's like they did this to themselves. They brought the end about themselves and they did it as like a defense mechanism to push to push you away. The Ten of Wands is feeling this overwhelmed, overburdened. They can't handle emotions. This person doesn't know how to process emotions, how to handle them. Uh, they get like completely overwhelmed by them and they just want to like shut down and run away. That's kind of like their first, their first thing that they do. And it is not just with you. This is in all romantic relationships. They don't know how to have this connection. I would be surprised if this person had had like a close relationship even with like a friend where they talked about their feelings. I don't know if this person talks about uh, really deep feelings or inner thoughts with like anybody. It's like they have this, it's like they're incapable of having that deep bond and connection. The Wheel of Fortune. See, I play all these cards uh, upright. But if I wasn't, this one would have come in reverse. This is like this person was never going to get what they want uh, because they're not willing to put the work in to get it there. And no matter how good of a person comes into their life, just like the collective, they're going to chase them off because this is what they do. This is how they handle emotions. I feel like they might even have a temper problem. Or they might be... Uh, unfaithful as well sort of it's like basically whatever they have to do to bring a relationship to an end to piss the other person off enough uh, to to call it done to hurt somebody enough so that they walk away justice it's like this balance we do have the seven of wands that one did pop out in reverse seven of wands like this taking back control so I, I don't think this person is going to stop going through life this way i don't know what happened to them uh that they do this 
because it has to be for a reason, right? Everything, everything we do is for a reason. It usually ties into something that we experienced in the past. It doesn't mean it's necessarily going to rule us, uh, but it does play a, play an impact on how we go through the world. Let's face it, right, guys? There was something that happened. Uh, something that happened that turned this person this way. We do have the devil card here. The devil card is a destructive force. A toxic force. I feel like this person is just toxic to themselves. I feel like they just, they just fuck up all their relationships is kind of what they do here. We do have the three of wands. Like moving on, moving forward. But it's like nothing's going to change. It's like they have this, I don't know if they want to have a deep relationship with someone. But they can't. They can't because they don't know how to do it and they run away from it every single time. Queen of Wands. This might have even been a marriage. This was someone who I feel like you guys even might have felt like soulmates or they might have felt like your soulmate at one point. And we do have the Justice card here. We do have the King and Queen of the same suit. So I feel like uh, there could have been there could have been a marriage in this. This was. This was not like, a, you know, we dated for one or two weeks. This was somebody who you had uh, a relationship with for quite a while. We have the Eight of Wands too. So this Eight of Wands can represent communication. I can represent air travel. It can represent swift change as well or communication over a long distance. I don't know if this person has been reaching out to you. Maybe there's a lot of physical distance between the two of you now. Uh, maybe they're trying to reach out. Maybe they sent you a text, an email. Um, do you have the Ten of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles can represent abundance, legacy. You know what? They're like worried about their legacy too. There is some level, on some level, this person is actually worried about uh, their legacy, their future like having having that you know what other people have and sort of dreaming about that happily ever after and the family and the blah 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 and all that all that jazz and i feel like there's a part of them that does want it that does dream about it they don't know how to make it happen anytime it gets too close they go out of their way to destroy it this is not just with the collective uh, this is whoever else they have relationships with too so this is going to be shit from the past this is going to be shit that's going to carry on in the future until this person figures their crap out. If they ever figure their crap out, some people never do. Uh, we do have the full card. He does represent a new perspective. Uh, needing a new perspective. So I feel like this person is going to reach out. Like they're worried about their legacy. But nothing's going to change unless they change their perspective and their way of thinking, their way of being in the world and, and not taking advantage of others with their behavior, not hurting others with their behavior. And it's like they do it on purpose to push people away, but it gets them farther and farther away from what they want. They self-sabotage and then they hurt other people to begin with. Let's see, nine of wands. This nine of wands, it's like, I don't know if they're exhausted from having relationships go to shit. And this is why they're so worried about their legacy. Maybe they're getting older now too. And it's, maybe it's causing them to look back a bit and go like, oh, fuck. Like, did I completely miss the boat on some of this now? Am I never going to have a chance at this again? Because I feel like they're starting to look at their past in a new way too. Like I'm not saying this, this person has had some miracle change or whatever. But I feel like there's some thinking going on there. In the world card. So the world card represents usually positive things manifesting for you. But uh, this is because you put in the work. This is because you put in the hard work. This card is saying that this person is basically in charge of their own future. They're in charge of what they wind up with, what their legacy is going to look like. That's going to be based on, on their perspective. It's going to be based on their choices, how they treat other people, how they choose to have other relationships. We do have the Knight of Pentacles. Not Knight of Pentacles, when he speaks to a person, 
He's like somebody who's steady and steadfast. Somebody who you can count on in a pinch. I feel like this is what they had with the collective and didn't realize it or did and it scared the shit out of them. It's like they're they're afraid of forever. They're afraid of the forever commitment. They're afraid of the responsibility that goes along with it. They're afraid of having to deal with somebody else's emotions. Uh, we do have that Ace of Swords, but that Ace of Swords is not just about victory or triumph. Uh, it's like triumph in truth. It's like being honest, moving through life with honesty and integrity is what's going to get you the wind. And obviously, like this person hasn't, they haven't done that for whatever reasons. I like hold themselves back. They put up walls, they hold themselves back, they go out of their way to self-sabotage any relationship that they have. And this does include with the collective. Because the collective was like the steady Eddie. This collective was somebody who they could build a legacy with. Uh, this was somebody who they could count on. I scared the shit out of them. And they, they went completely out of their way to fuck it up. We have the Knight of Swords too. And again, this Knight of Swords is like victory and truth and honesty. This is like doing the right thing. As like being, being a white knight. I feel like... I feel like this person would like to be like this. There's a part of them that would like to be seen this way. Ah, uh, I don't know that that change is coming about. I, I feel like they're just, maybe shit has happened and they're getting older and they're starting to maybe think about their choices a little bit more. The situation that it's put them in. The Knight of Wands. It's like somebody who's impulsive. Can represent moving and moving on too. I don't see moving and moving on in this card. I see that this is more about characteristics. This is somebody who, who can act rashly. They act without thinking. Uh, this is part of their self-sabotage shit though too. And doing things that are like fucking crazy and hurtful to other people. A chariot card. See, I feel like they're going to be doing this. I feel like they just kind of keep doing this. This is how they're going to choose to continue to go through life. But a lot of times that chariot card is about not perseverance, positive forward movement. Uh, it's not necessarily positive movement this person is doing. I feel like they're just kind of carrying on. Same old, same old. I don't feel like there's... I feel like there's a want to change. I feel like there's a want for a legacy. I feel like, you know, I feel like... That part of their perspective has actually changed when it comes to life. Uh, but I, from the cards, I don't feel like uh, taking action to attain that has actually changed, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, four of Swords. They might even be having health issues right now. Uh, and I feel like they're getting older. I just get that from the cards. It's like this person feels like they're getting older. They're older now. Uh, like what do they have? Who's going to want them now? This was their, their chance for a legacy. This was their chance. After that happily ever after. And they blew it. A chance for building. All and all the time, and that's what I was feeling too with this king and queen. This, this matching suit. And this wasn't just like a couple weeks dating. This was someone who the collective had put time, effort, and energy uh, into building with. So it's like there was that potential for a legacy there. There was that potential for that lifelong connection there. The collective didn't shit out on that. The collective wasn't the one who broke that contract, uh, who who did, did whatever the actions were that brought this whole uh, house of cards down it was this other person and it was because they don't know how to deal with their shit they don't know how to have a functional relationship they don't know how to process their emotions express their emotions and deal with other people's emotions it's too overwhelming for them and so they act out uh, to bring about some sort of an end so that the pressure is no longer there but I feel like now they're there is that level of regret. I don't know that it was it was ever there in the past for them. I feel like now it's there. And I do feel like it has to do with age. And they feel like they're getting older. Their chance for having this legacy. This thing that on some level they actually do want. It's like fucking disappearing. So I don't know if there's going to be like a reaching out with this eight of wands. To perhaps the queen to maybe try and make amends. Or whatever. But I feel like. I feel like they're starting to freak out now with getting older and like seeing that chance at happiness really truly fucking like slipping away like they they had it they fucking fucked it up 
and they're worried they will never have it again, which, I mean, that might be the case. If they don't get their shit together, they don't learn how to how to function, uh, how to be with another person, and chances are this is, this is the way it's going to keep going for them. They'll, they'll be their own toxic and destructive force in their life. Pretty sad, uh, but it kind of is what it is, right, guys? Uh, I was hoping that with this read coming forward, you being able to hear these things, uh, hearing uh, sort of what's going on with this person and in their head, this is going to bring some sort of a clarity and a closure to you. Because at the end of the day, uh, you guys, you guys are who counts in these reads. That's who these reads are for. They're for you. They're for your healing, your well-being, and your moving forward. Alrighty, much love, everyone. Take care.